एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Congratulations on your debut and um and your runs today. Um just wanted to ask you what it meant for you to, you know, get this opportunity today, particularly given, you know, you'd come close on a on a couple of previous occasions. Yeah, it was um yeah, pretty incredible experience, Ben. Uh it's meant everything to me to be honest. I've been yeah, putting in a lot of hard yards on and off the field. Um hopeful that this this day would come and um yeah, it was a, it was a very special day. And were you happy with the way you batted? Uh certain elements, yeah. It was uh quite exciting, I guess. Like it just the thrill of um playing your first test match and uh I probably yeah, was happy with some things, not as happy with others, but um it's all just going to be a learning experience in that regard. Can you just tell us uh, what was the which bowler actually troubled you most and and why? Uh they're all obviously very good. Um playing your first international game. Uh I'd say Ashwin's probably the one that was the most unique in a way um obviously bumra has his unique action but um ashwin just with his different variations and how he used the seam to um sort of bowl yeah his little different variations was was something i hadn't really experienced before so that was quite challenging i want to know the role of marnas labushen what was he telling you because he's a senior experienced player you shared a 100 run partnership with him for the second wicket after david warner fell early So, what was he telling you or his role? What with what chat you had with him during that partnership? Yeah, it was awesome batting with Manas. Obviously, he's been amazing the last couple of years. So, just feeding off his experience a little bit. Um, I was just sort of honestly telling him how much I was loving it, to be honest. And he was just rolling with it. And um, no, he was a great support out in the middle. So it was it was awesome to bat with such a good player and just um, yeah, start to learn a bit about Test cricket, I guess. Yeah, congratulations, Bill. Uh, mate, just wanted, I guess. Your thoughts on the past month, man? What a roller coaster it's been, and guess what emotions you went through in that time? As you thought that you know potentially this series might pass you by. Yeah, it's been um, quite surreal, Scott. It's uh, as you said, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Again, getting hit about a month ago, and then um, been to <laughs> millions of different doctors. It feels like just trying to get a bit of clarity and a bit of an answer as to as to what the go was going forward and everything along those lines, but. um yeah managed to to get through all the protocols and obviously put myself up for selection and then was lucky enough to be selected so um it has been a bit of a whirlwind but um yeah awesome to be here and did you think that india targeted you today with the short ball and i guess was that something you came into this game in the back of your mind expecting uh i think so yeah it's um i've been bounced non-stop in all cricket i've played really just with the history of concussions like it's just a bit of bit of a part of it to be honest and um yeah I sort of knew India would come come at me pretty hard with it um I felt like I handled handled it well at times and probably just went out of my bubble at other times but a lot of that I think comes down to the excitement of your first game and um just making sure that you sort of get that first one out of the way and then um hopefully roll on and and improve from my experience today Uh hi Will and congrats. Um I remember you saying a couple of years ago that before your first shield game you were the most nervous you'd ever been in your life and you hardly slept that night. I'm wondering how you went last night assuming you learned yesterday you were going to play and and is that why you did you get the choice to face first ball to get yourself into it pretty quickly? Uh yeah, it wasn't the best sleep I've ever had Andrew to be honest. Uh I I, I in my head I think I built up that I was going to be ridiculously nervous and it sort of wasn't that bad in the end i was pretty much just excited that uh the opportunity had finally got there and um i was there on the ground receiving my baggy green so uh in that sense it was actually quite calming in a way uh it was pretty cool though like going out to bat and um davy gave me the choice of facing first or not and i mulled over it and changed my mind about 200 times but eventually decided that i'd i'd just take it and get the first one out of the way Ah, uh, good day, Will. Well done, mate. Um, was there? You kind of touched on it there, but you, did you never really seem overwhelmed by the occasion? Because the entire time you just seemed to have a smile on your face. Ah, uh, yeah. To be honest, Braden, it was one of those days where I was just absolutely loving it. It was probably my favourite day of cricket to date, and um, yeah, it's just obviously a really exciting experience playing your first game for Australia. But um, on top of that, obviously with a bit of the the background to. to get to the position I'm in um yeah it was just pretty pretty awesome to be out there did the rain delay help you a little bit there was some vision there showing that you and JL and maybe even Dean Hills had a decent chat there did that help you make a few technical adjustments uh none of that chat was 
even remotely technical, to be honest. We're all we we're just talking about honestly just random sort of different things. And um I was telling him how exciting the first seven overs was. And uh yeah, beyond that, there wasn't much else. It was uh yeah, just talking about sort of general life things, to be honest. Hey, well, congrats on the debut. Um, I was just wondering with that second catch that went down that was um, sent up to the third umpire, did you initially think you, you might be in trouble? And at what point did you think you'd, uh, you know, do you realise you'd uh, still be out there? Uh, yeah, it was an interesting one. I th- sort of thought he'd claimed it, so I just assumed he must have caught it. Um, maybe I've got too much faith in people, but uh, I sort of looked at it on the big screen and I was talking to Marnus about it. I was like, I, I don't think that's out. It sort of looked like he'd smothered it into the ground. So, um, yeah, it was a pretty cool sort of thing to get called back. Uh, yeah, you go from the sort of complete disappointment of being out to um, the like great thing of having another chance. So, yeah, another thing that doesn't really happen in Shield cricket, but, yeah, it was pretty cool. And what about um, just um, Justin, like, um, you know, Justin Lang has spoken about his conversations with you about a week ago about getting back on the horse. What about the, the debut itself? Were there any kind of words of wisdom uh, yesterday or this morning? Uh, not anything too extravagant, I wouldn't think. Uh, it was just sort of one of those things where he, he let me know yesterday that I was going to be playing and um, from there it was just trust your process, go out and do what you do sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I had some really good chats with JL, but there was nothing, I don't think there's anything you can really say is there other than just get out there and give it your best crack. Hi, Will. Congratulations. I just wondered uh, what you made of the pitch there today and how helpful that may have been uh, for batting on day one at, at the SCG. Yeah, it was a very nice batting batting wicket, Mel. So um, obviously good as a batter, but um, I'm very hopeful that obviously with, with the amount of batting that's in now and what we've got to come, um, that we can post a really good total. And then with the world-class attack that we have really put them under the pump and um, to hopefully just really sort of drive the game forward and dominate the game. I was just wondering if it was uh, special to get your baggy green presented by your former Victoria coach, Andrew McDonald, and what he had to say at the presentation. Yeah, it was, um, it was very special. I was pretty wrapped when I found out that, that Ronnie was going to be presenting it. Um, we've been through a lot together. He was my first coach in Victoria. And, uh, yeah, it's one of those moments where it was just nice to share it with someone that um, I do have such a close connection with. Um, obviously, I would have loved for mum, dad and my girlfriend to be up here to, to celebrate it with me and, and my mates. But, um, yeah, they obviously couldn't make it with the COVID restrictions. But uh, other than that, obviously, uh, it was still a very, very special moment. But, um, yeah, I sort of was a tiny bit sad, I guess, especially dad, who's just been there the whole way and um, been just a massive support to me. So um, I was a bit bit disappointed uh that he couldn't make it up but um yeah i'd only give that maybe one percent and it was 99 percent elation just when justin was talking the other day he said you know it was really you know he, he really enjoyed hearing it from you that you were really clear about wanting to play you know you wanted to to get back on the horse um i was just wondering kind of where that sort of moment of of clarity came for you and um you know perhaps in the past you yeah, you haven't been so certain that, you know, that you wanted to get back out there? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a tough one to answer. I think when you get the um, information from doctors and stuff that, that things are actually going okay and there's nothing too much to worry about long-term at this stage, it makes it a lot easier for you just because, um, yeah, you can just relax a little bit and go, okay, like just got to keep sort of going through the process of, of coming back from these head knocks and, um, yeah, just keep working through different like rehab exercises and stuff. And um, over time, obviously, just make sure your head keeps getting better, I guess. It's just one of those ones where with your head, you don't want to, um, I guess you don't want to risk it because you've got a long life after cricket and a long life after sport that you, you, want, to be, you want to be fit and healthy for. So, uh, yeah, it was one of those ones where I just seeked some, some different opinions on what was going on and, I was pretty satisfied that I'm in a in a pretty good place that to continue and even if I get hit again, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But um, I guess cross that bridge when we come to it. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.